All right, good afternoon. This is Mike with the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi, for a special severe weather briefing this Wednesday, March 12th, 2025. Today I'll be talking about our severe storm potential that begins tonight and goes into Thursday morning. We have another severe storm potential Friday night, and then yet another final severe storm potential on Saturday I'll talk about. And these severe storms will result finally in a flash flooding potential and minor river flooding that will all be possible on Saturday. Okay, our first of several storm potentials that will move across the region during the next four days begins tonight in our area. The greatest threat for severe, which is in the yellow, the slight risk area, includes the potential for damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and hail up to quarter size. Outside of this area, there's a marginal risk for isolated severe storms that'll be possible with the potential of damaging wind gusts and hail up to quarter size. If you focus on the timing graphic, we're expecting this to begin late this evening, maybe as late as midnight and continue to 4 a.m across the eastern half of the area, it's expected to linger uh, by 4 a.m. and maybe as long as noon on Thursday morning. So this potential event will begin at midnight and last almost until noon tomorrow. The next severe event will likely move into our area or begin late Friday afternoon and continue through Friday night. The greatest risk for severe storms is across the northern portions of our area in the orange or the enhanced risk area, where severe storms capable of damaging wind gusts, large hail, and tornadoes will all be possible during this time. To the south, south of the Highway 84 or 82 corridor is a slight risk that encompasses most of our county warning area, with the exception of our southeast most zones. Within this area, the slight risk area, the yellow area, severe storms will be possible with the same threats, damaging wind gusts, large hail, and tornadoes, all possible in the slight risk area. And then finally, across our southeast most zones, there'll be a more isolated severe risk. There's less confidence in this area for damaging winds, hail, and a tornado cannot be ruled out with this particular system. Again, it's going to begin maybe as late as 4 p.m. on Friday and continue all the way through 6 a.m. on Saturday. This lead system will be followed up very quickly by an even more potent system. But before I go to that, I should mention on Friday, even before the severe storms begin, there will be the potential for strong, gusty winds. We're expecting a potential for sustained winds of 20 to 25 miles per hour with gusts 35 to 40 miles per hour at time. The 35 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts will blow down uh, very weak trees and tree limbs that could break and fall. Also, high profile vehicles may be impacted by these increased winds. We have a lot of dead pine trees still across the area, so people should be more aware of the potential, even during the afternoon, for gusty winds near these pine trees, which could fall with little or no warning. The main event that I was alluding to is expected to occur during the daytime on Saturday, maybe beginning as early as 6 a.m. and continuing till 8 p.m. on Saturday. Much of our area is under an enhanced risk, and the severe storms in, within this enhanced risk area is where our greatest confidence is in damaging wind gusts, large hail, and tornadoes. A few of these tornadoes may become very strong. Outside of that area, toward the northwest, during the early morning hours, and what, there is a more limited risk, a slight risk for severe storms although it'll have pretty much the same threats. Damaging winds will be the main threat with large hail and tornadoes will be possible all in the slight risk area 
that encompasses our northwesternmost zones. All right, by the time we get rainfall, by the time we get rainfall from the tonight system and the Friday night system and through Saturday, there will be the potential by Saturday of having two to three inches of rain across the area in a very short amount of time over grounds that will become saturated from the previous rainfalls. This could lead to flash flooding and minor river flooding. The amount of rain, this graphic shows the amount of rain that we're expecting basically from the Friday through Saturday, Saturday night system, showing in excess of two inches primarily across the northern and northeastern portions of our area with potential for one and a half or two across maybe the northern half of our area. This is the amount of rainfall that will make flash flooding and river flooding um, an increased potential. This graphic demonstrates that orange squares that are forecast with a 50% or greater chance of going into minor flood over the next several days with the potential rainfall that I just displayed. So the orange points or the orange squares are the points along our local rivers that could go into minor flooding. That includes the Mississippi River, the Pearl River, and the Big Black River. All right, in summary, I talked about the severe storm potential that we're expecting to begin tonight and continue into Thursday morning. A second severe storm potential exists all Friday night. And then the main event perhaps the one that shows the greatest potential for severe across our area is expected on Saturday. And these potential events will increase the rainfall amounts across our area and may lead into flash flooding on Saturday and minor river flooding on a few of our major rivers across the area. That concludes this special weather briefing and we'll have another special severe weather briefing at 2 p.m. tomorrow, which is Thursday, March 13th, 2025.